My little Mazda 3 is in the dealership for a tune-up, and since I'll never own a hot red sports car, I figured I might as well paint one. I'm using a sketchbook with watercolor paper, primed with yellow casein. And I start with a careful drawing in pencil, and then mix out some gouache. I got white, cadmium red, light red, cadmium yellow light, yellow ochre, cobalt blue, and black. That yellow will become an element in this composition inevitably because it'll show through some of the paint. But I'm going to try to cover it all up, working area by area. The floor has a bright light reflection down the middle of it. And the light coming in the windows is very bright compared to the colors on that Miata. I'm using a round synthetic brush and I'm mixing colors as I go, just trying to match them to uh, what I'm seeing in front of me. Painting a highly reflective subject like a car in a showroom means really analyzing the shapes abstractly and copying it color for color, shape for shape. So the red on the back part of the car is a fairly dark red and it gets lighter and cooler and even more violet on the top surfaces. Gouache has always been a favorite for people who've painted cars and there's good reason for it. Gouache or opaque watercolor is opaque enough to cover something like this underpainting and it also dries fast and that's an advantage because you can overlap one stroke against another and create a real sharp set of edges. There's that nice desk unit in front of the car and that helps set off some of those light values. Here's a comparison between what I'm looking at and what I'm painting. The nice thing about that round brush is I can get a very fine tip with it and handle some of the small details. I figure I have one shot with each stroke, so I try to make each stroke as deliberate as I can. This subject is quite different from a figure or a landscape or a still life because just visually it's quite different because you've got, you have to have these perfect ellipses. And when you're doing a wheel or a tire, if it's the least bit out, you'll recognize right away. Some parts of the scene have a lot more detail than I can capture with this brush, such as the inside of the wheel. So I try to find a way to suggest that detail. And now I'm using the edge of this acrylic sheet and a pencil on top of the gouache to draw the expansion joints in this floor. This whole painting takes about three hours and I just become a fixture in the showroom. The guys don't mind me. I've talked with all of them and it turns out two of them went to art school and uh, they love drawing and painting on the side, so they check in from time to time. And as I finish up, one thing I want to do is just try sitting inside the car. No, I don't think it's quite my style. <laughs> so thanks to the guys over at Route 9 Mazda in Poughkeepsie, New York, and you can go there to talk cars or you can talk art. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel.
And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.